Well, this week's Northwoods adventure is a blast from the past. Aiken's Wealthwood Rendezvous features antique and replica muskets and even a cannon. Shane Lee fires away. Fire the, hole. the 1830s latest technology and finest weaponry takes center stage at the Wealthwood Rendezvous in Aiken. Most accurate, the best built, sturdy enough to take a drop off a horse or a roll down a mountainside. Reenactors operate the cannon for demonstrations only, but the public does gain hands-on experience with the muskets. It did pretty good. The, it didn't kick that much. It's actually really fun. The big challenge with guns of the period is reloading them. The muzzle loader begins with the black powder, places the patch and the ball over the barrel, and shoves them down with the ramrod. Finally, the shooter needs to place the percussion cap onto the nipple. And when the hammer drops, there's a, a charge in the cap, which is the equivalent of a modern day uh, primer in a, a modern cartridge. That sends a flame down into the barrel and ignites the powder charge, setting off the gun. After that process, take aim carefully and fire. Make sure it's onto your, onto your shoulder. Don't, don't flinch after you shoot it. With that advice, it's time to take arms. I have here a 1700 replica smoothbore with great versatility because it can shoot either one 54 caliber ball or a buck and ball, which means there's the main ball with three other balls behind it to give you a greater chance of hitting your target. So we'll see how I do. Hit! <laughs> I hope that propane tank was empty. The guns receive the most attention from visitors, but the axe takes the number one spot for usefulness. With an axe, you can do anything. You can make a camp. The camp at the Wealthwood Rendezvous mimics a fur trading camp, but with a lot of additional comfort. Mountain men had a blanket and a cup and, and not much else. The rest was all left for trade goods and and their food. The military, rather than fur traders, used the canvas tents, but the rendezvous reenactors borrow that particular comfort for the weekend. Otherwise, the reenactors pack as lightly as possible, utilizing tools with great versatility. This is a corn boiler. It's just a little kettle with a lid. Cook everything from corn to soup to coffee, all in this one pot. Personally, I'll stick with a hotel room and a microwave. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.